name's Julie. I'm originally from Australia. Uh, I'm 36 years old and I started the Carter Gaia project with my husband about three years ago. Um, originally my profession is a physicist. I worked for about 15 years in scientific research uh, before starting this project. We're close to a town called Pichinaki, which is located in Chanchamayo uh, in Hunin in Peru. And we're in the high jungle, so we're at the foothills of the Andes and going into the Amazon jungle. So we're in a jungle climate. And Karagaya means abundance, and the idea is to create abundance for all people on Earth um, without any servitude or any debt. So the idea is to use a high level of automation, high level of technology to do uh, a lot of the menial jobs to free up the human race to do things more beneficial for creating a better society. Um, so everyone will be provided with the basic needs of life, housing, uh, food, water, healthcare, education, all the basic necessities will be provided for free to everyone. Uh, but to do that, um, in today's society would cost a lot of money. Uh, in the future, hopefully all it will cost is human capital uh, if all the world agrees to, to follow in the system. We consider this as a pilot community uh, and we're trying to develop a self-sufficient community based on some of the concepts of a resource-based economy. So we obviously can't apply um, the concepts of a new society because we're not all living in a, a new society. So this is a transition project towards our future goals uh, where we're trying to demonstrate some of the concepts and some of the technologies. So what we have here now seems like any other self-sufficient community. Uh, we just have different goals for the future. So uh, We've been in this location for nearly three years. Uh, so we bought this land to develop the project. Um, and we spent about six months in Peru and Bolivia and other parts of South America looking for the ideal location. Uh, and we found everything we needed here.